Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Scorpio. How are you guys? Hope you're all doing well. So this week, I'm going to focus on the positive energy surrounding you. Same as I did for the singles readings this week, I focused on the positive energy. So this could be any aspect of your life. Take it how it best resonates. Positive energy surrounding Scorpio. The positive energy surrounding Scorpio. Does Scorpio need to know? Positive energy. This one here. Two want to come out. Okay. Being a little cautious, a little careful what you wish for. Queen of Pentacles. Could be yourself, another person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's about having a companion, being a little cautious, not offering all of yourself to someone. You're going to get something you want here, though, <laughs> because of this energy. Oh, yeah. So there's some kind of connection. So this could be a friendship that goes to another level, quite possibly. But I do see the caution, okay? But I see you knowing what you want here as well. Oh, yeah. You're going to get something out of this. Scorpio, there we go, yeah, somebody here, there's definitely a strong connection, you're forming a bond, I feel, with someone, seeing eye to eye, drinking from each other's cup, this could be a friendship, just somebody who's a companion, maybe that's what you want, at least to start, okay, with that caution, but I do see a, a strong connection, something is going to grow here between you and another person, yeah, so it's, I see this energy taking stock, staying balanced, looking at, you know, all the details of a situation, so you're definitely balancing yourself out, this is a very, very good energy for you, I like this because I feel as though you're this, you know, the four of pentacles is, isn't just stuck or stubborn or it, it's really about balance. It's all the things balancing out in your life. It's two people coming together, forming a connection, balancing each other, but you're taking stock. You're being cautious. You're looking at all the details very carefully to look to see if there's anything missing. So it's an energy of kind of holding back a little bit. I can see that, you know, you want to make sure. It's an energy of protection. You're in a, you're kind of protecting yourself here. And I actually feel like you have someone who feels protective of you. This is in, yeah, slow and steady wins the race. Little Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. In fact, you could both have a little earth in your chart. Definitely see a Leo energy. This is lovely. Yeah, this is two people going to get to know each other, slow and steady, just being companions, friends. I do feel this is something that could go to the next level, though. But I see this holding back a little, just being a little cautious, how much you offer, how much you give. Yeah, we got the King of Wands energy. This could be yourself in that energy. It's the energy of knowing what you want, okay? I do see a Leo energy here, so I do feel there's somebody with some Leo energy, but this is a person who knows what they want, very focused, very driven. This is someone who won't give up, though, very protective. You got someone here who's quite protective of you, but you're holding back, okay? But I do feel that protection, yeah. There's some things that need to be figured out, Seven of Wands. You're a little guarded, little defensive, so it's an energy of letting your guard down. It's going to take you a little time to let your guard down here. You know, you want to make sure this person's right for you. <laughs> I love this energy. Yeah, so, so you know that seven of wands guarded, a little defensive. You're not so sure you believe everything. Okay, so this is a good energy, though, but I do feel like you're going to need to let your guard down, and you're going to let it down when you know this person's right, that they're right for you. So there is justice and balance. Justice is in your favor. This person sees you as just right. I can see that. They're, I feel this person feels that strong bond connection. They're very protective, very, very protective person. This is someone who will look out for you. But yeah, they're a little cautious. So you may not believe that, okay, with that energy. It's my believer card. But it's about letting that guard down. So this is being careful what you believe here, being cautious. I like this energy, Scorpio. This is very sensible. Yeah, you're trusting your intuition, your inner wisdom here. You're going within, kind of making sure you know everything you need to know. Really nice. So I do, Queen of Pentacles is an energy of someone who really likes to just be a companion first. It's someone who likes to prepare, plan for the future. So you're preparing, taking stock. Some of you are saving money, preparing for the future as well here. I like this energy. Very protective. Very, very protective. 
I feel two people are going to be looking out for each other here, but you both need to let your guard down a little. I feel they have some earth energy here. You may. Doesn't mean you do. It's just an energy of Queen of Pentacles. Preparing for the future. Practical, sensible. So you're trusting your intuition here. You're being cautious. You're offering one cup. Sharing a little feeling here. You're drinking from this person's cup. Getting to know each other. Seeing eye to eye. So there is some kind of a connection. I feel it's going to grow. It's going to be very strong. This person sees you as a keeper here. But I feel as though you're not 100% sure. Okay? For whatever reason. We'll see. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Very grounded, sensible. Lovely. Yeah, so there is an offer of communication. So you're looking at the details. You're kind of holding back, making sure everything is just right, that this person brings balance into your life. So you are protecting yourself, okay? Everything you worked for, I can see that. I feel like it's mutual to a degree, but I feel like as though this person here is uh, somebody who definitely, you know, very focused on their passion career. They could be a business owner. This could be yourself as well in that energy. I feel there's something mutual. Now that to a cup soulmate connection so let's see where this takes you here and soulmate connection yeah there is an energy there's some kind of a transformation between the two of you oh yeah see it's going to grow stronger this connection is going to grow strong once you know everything you need to know you'll let your guard down <laughs> uh-huh i feel this person's in that energy too that's that transformation beautiful energy some of you may have had a situation with somebody at some point where because you're looking at it you're looking to see if there's anything in common with that energy you're taking stock you can see with that four of pentacles this is the heart of the reading very protective holding back kind of watching from a distance a little guarded but it's also about balance taking stock of the situation and that's where i feel there's something that may have happened with you at some point but this is that intuition telling you to just be a little careful only offer so much see if this person you know because if i do see this energy of moving slow maybe you feel like they're moving too slow it's making you guarded but i do see this lovely transformation yeah i don't think you're going to be single much longer here this is two single people coming together uh, i do see a virgo energy for some of you uh, it's definitely a lot of earth energy it's about preparing for the future you have everything you need i feel like you're making plans for the future you're taking care of yourself i do see that energy of being independent so you're looking at that energy as well two people two independent people coming together that like to plan for the future very nice energy yeah it's going to be a transformation i don't think you're going to be single much longer <laughs> guarded or not yeah so it's energy of building two people building. so it's energy of perfecting your craft you're also looking at it nobody's perfect so uh, but you're perfecting your craft because what i feel is you're learning to trust your intuition you're looking at things carefully you want to build i can see that you want to partner up uh, with someone but i do feel some of you've been single for a while or just sort of very independent but i see you preparing yourself looking into the future you know looking do you see yourself with this person and that's what i feel like you're doing so we have this four of wands energy yeah so there's that pentacle teamwork cooperation compromise once this solid offer is made once this offer is made it becomes the three of pentacles it takes that ace of pentacles off the top so it's about the things you have in common compatibility you're looking at everything about the balance this person how they would fit into your life so i do see this energy of building for some of you i do feel some of you i actually feel you've been working hard here preparing for the future some of you might even be thinking of retiring or you have another job offer okay something solid slow and steady or you're, you're definitely in that work mode but I feel this is more about planning for the future. Do you see yourself with this person? And I feel like that's what you're doing. Nave of Pentacles, yeah. It's an emotional opportunity. Slow and steady wins the race. Those emotions will eventually start to flow because you're building. Two people working together to build. There's definitely a lot of strength between the two of you. Feel this person's quite strong financially. They work very hard, possibly very creative. Again, with that ace of pentacles coming off that four of pentacles it's something you have in common compatibility but you're a little cautious regardless so until you know everything you know you're letting your intuition guide you here little pisces energy so someone may have a little pisces in their chart or it's just that intuitive energy 
Yeah, there's that strength. This person's very strong, very confident. Nice energy. Yeah, very strong, very confident. Beautiful energy. This is someone who knows what they want. There's a strong connection and some kind of bond, I feel, that's forming. But this is someone who needs to take their guard down. And I feel like it's yourself more than this person. Seven of Wands, yeah. See, offering one cup. So you're a little guarded. You're cautious. You're So be careful you don't push this person away, okay? Make sure you give them a little something. Let them know that you're connected because I feel like you are. They want to build. This person wants to build. They could be a home builder, a uh, business owner. In fact, they could even offer you something. They may even want to work with you, uh, the two of you coming together to build. So I do feel like you're going to get something you want here. See, it's both of you. Cautious, though, you know? you both you know want to build you want this to work i feel that that seed is planted it's building okay and it's building up to that emotion so i feel like you just want to be friends first companions kind of hang out do things make plans together i don't think you're going to be single much longer i see that transformation scorpio that's your energy mm -hmm. something is blossoming here tell me about this justice energy justice beautiful yeah you want someone who's just right you're cautious you know what you want beautiful look at that energy i feel like you both have very similar energy this is so interesting but this is somebody who could be just right they see you as marriage material okay they feel that i think this person's moving a little faster than you you want to kind of go slow you're not 100% sure, okay? So I feel like it's just the dating, courting, getting together, hanging out, um, maybe even going Dutch, just doing things together. But it's going to transform. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so there is definitely something evolving and growing. It's feeling on top of the world. I see travel, movement, doing things together, getting out together in the world. And this is, I feel, how you're forming this bond with this person. But I, I do feel two single people, you know, sharing their feelings, talking, seeing eye to eye. So there is some kind of growth. So it is a very positive energy. There is going to be change. I love the, the change in the energy. Solid, reliable. So this person's showing you they want to build. They're offering you something solid. Okay, very nice. They see you as a keeper. This is someone who wants to hold on to you. <laughs> Then those emotions start to flow. Two people drinking from each other's cup. You're going to get what you want. You're going to accept this, I feel, too. Yeah, so I do see this energy of tradition. You may have some Taurus in your chart, but you want to make sure you're both on the same page. I feel like you are. So this is doing things in a traditional manner here. Yeah, this is a code of conduct. This is the way you're acting. You want to make sure this person has the same morals, values, similar lifestyle. Yeah, you're a little cautious. I feel like there's still more that you need to know. But I do feel that things are, this is an energy of two people being on the same page. You both feel the same. So I feel there's something mutual with a talk or a discussion. But this is definitely going to transform. This is a really, really lovely energy. Yeah, I see a lot of talk, a lot of communication back and forth, you see. Moving forward calmly and peacefully, just keeping things calm. I see travel. I do see things speeding up. The closer, the, the more you get to know about each other, the closer you're going to get, okay? So it's you're going to take the time to get to know each other. It's maybe something you haven't done before. <laughs> I think this person wants to move a little faster than you. I see a lot of passion, talk about creativity, uh, work. Uh, I see a lot of communication back and forth, texting, emails. It's moving forward. You're getting to know each other. So really nice. Tell me about the strength. Oops, there we go. Yeah, so you're questioning. You're being discerning. You're trusting your inner knowing. So you're questioning this person. You are a little guarded. You're a little cautious, so you're you're being discerning, you're being very wise. I also see some talk, fun, passion, being very witty. Uh, so I do feel like you have some things in common here. But you're not you're definitely not being any kind of a pushover. You're taking things slow. It's gonna take you a little time. Like you're telling this person and teaching them how you want to be treated, letting them know how you feel, okay? Now, the way you conduct your life. This is yourself doing this is justice. You want that balance. You want someone who's just right. They see you as just right. So you're you're letting this person know what you like and what you don't like. And I feel it just makes this person feel more connected. Okay, but it's telling you you need to let your guard down a little. Yeah, you need to clear out that energy. You see, this is an energy releasing the negativity, letting your guard down, getting out of your head. I feel like you could be in your head a lot. 
but you're going to tell this person to kind of hold back and go slow. And that's where I feel like, you know, you just want to make sure like they're right, but they do see you as just right. They definitely do. Oh yeah. You're on the same page, the same path here. I think you really like this person, but I do think you need to let your guard down. Like you're a little bit defensive. So it's telling you to be a little cautious, watch your words. You don't want to push this person away, clear your negative thoughts and energy, anything from your past, just kind of, you know, I, I feel it's sort of an energy where you just sort of lie there at night kind of thinking about this person. You know you need to let your guard down, but, you know, you're cautious and careful what you believe. Like, you know, you're not so sure you're going to get what you want. I actually feel like you will. Okay, I feel like you're going to get exactly what you want. I feel like you are both on the same page here. Yeah, see two people planning success, getting to know each other. This could be successful. Uh, I feel as though, it, I feel some kind of motivation here too. It's preparing for success, planning for it. I see two people dressing for success, but I see a lot of outdoor adventure, your habit. Some of you might be quite outdoorsy, earthy. Uh, camping, travel, you know, adventures, like that's the things you're questioning. You want to know, all right, things like that with this person. So let's just see a little more on their personality here. And if it's not outdoor stuff, you know, when I do see the Queen of Pentacles and I see this energy, a little sad energy, it's a little bit of a sense of freedom. Like some of you been single for a while, you like to be free, but I see two free spirits. This person could be a Sagittarius and could be a Leo energy as well. Now, but I feel as though it's energy of just planning for success. Okay, I see travel and, and habits, you know, lifestyle. So you want to make sure they have a similar lifestyle. There's something that I feel is very important to you that's keeping you holding back, but you're looking at everything very careful. So let's see what this King of Wands is all about here. King of Wands. What's this person's personality? Generally fiery, passionate, hardworking. Oh yeah, this is someone who's making a decision. This is a judgment, a decision. I feel like that could be yourself. You're maybe judging this person a little bit. <laughs> so there, this is somebody who's uh, making a decision here. This person's releasing something, okay? But I think it's yourself. Yeah, I feel like there's this massive healing. There's something you're telling this person, some kind of healing, okay? No, I don't know what happened. I feel there's something that may have happened where you're just a little bit guarded. Maybe another person, something about your past you may be talking about. But I feel as though it's really about whether this person on the same page oh yeah they're very attractive very focused so you are not too sure about taking things to that next level i think you just want to spend time you just want to be friends till you're comfortable with this person okay because the queen of pentacles is all about comfort it's about feeling safe and secure like this person protects you they look out for your best interest and i feel like that's what you're looking at so i feel like they're very attractive vice versa so i feel like you're being quite uh blunt here but it's telling you to be a little cautious of your judgment and decision. Hold back. Don't push this person away. Just give it a little more time. Spend some time. Think about the positive. Plan for success. Okay? So that's I feel like I feel like that's what you're going to do. You're gonna let go of this negativity. Yeah. So there is love here. There's a bond, a connection. So it has to do with taking things to that next level. It takes you a little time to get comfortable. You need more time to get to know this person. So that's that physical connection, that bond. But I feel like it's going to be okay. I feel like you're just being very wise. You're just trusting your feeling. If it feels right, you'll go for it. If you feel something is off, you may just set yourself free. So I feel like it's a little up in the air. A little bit not sure here. A little bit on the cautious side. Yeah. But I actually, I actually feel this person, if you give it a little time, you're going to see that they're just right. They definitely feel that you are. I see some Libra energy, Gemini, Aquarius, very strong Libra. You may have that in your chart. Uh, if not, this person may. But I, you know, I asked their personality and it has to do with judgment release. So this is a person too, who may have let go of somebody in their life. Okay. So it could be some kind of talk communication about healing and releasing. I feel like it's about letting go of something. You know, there's a choice, a decision in love. So this is something to do with not just you, but this person. Yeah, you definitely know what you want, though. I do feel like you find this person attractive, very charming, hardworking. I feel like that's important to you. 
but there's something building between yeah so there it is you're expressing yourself so very nice i was actually up here yeah so this is definitely that energy of everything being exposed uh, there's definitely that strength there is a strong connection i feel like this could be successful i really do i see a victory here i see you just letting your guard down a little bit it takes a little time for you to get comfortable with this person yeah, I feel like you need to spend time. Yeah, see, there it is. So, in fact, you may be releasing somebody who is a Aries, Leo, Sag, another Scorpio. And, and then you've got somebody here who's Sag. I feel like you've, you may have um, ended something with another person, too. So, I like, I feel like there's something here. And it's not really letting me know. But I do see the release and this healing. Okay, so you're telling this person something. I feel here you're letting them know something about you and you're teaching them how you want to be treated but you're also learning about this person so I do feel there's a Leo energy so they could be a new Leo or you've got a Sag it could go either way very attractive very focused oh yeah you're gonna go for this <laughs> you're gonna take a leap of faith I do feel like you're gonna pull back here a little bit though and you're gonna do some thinking before you jump into something before you leap into it because you may have leapt into something in the past that didn't work out well i can kind of see that healing and releasing here yeah you're there's definitely an energy of compatibility so you are going to go down this path with this person uh, you're going to you know it's about cooperation and compromise just like i said you're looking for that uh, don't think you're going to compromise yourself and in certain ways about letting your guard down. It's going to take you a little bit of time. You want to make sure this person's compatible. It's all about talking, communicating to see if you have things in common. So really interesting. Now, this could be a work arrangement, a business arrangement. It doesn't have to be... Um, Emo you know something emotional or relationship it could be two friends coming together uh, working together getting to know each other planning something but it really does look like a relationship situation yeah preparing for success and i feel like that's what you're doing there you are yeah you're very open to this so i do see this healing okay i see this release and being open so you're you're gonna let your guard down you're gonna let your guard down a little and i don't think it's gonna be easy for you because of something you're needing to let go of. I think this person's had to let go of something too, because I feel like you're just doing all that communicating. But boy, this person knows exactly what they want. They see you as marriage material. They want to have fun. They're full of adventure. It has something to do with outdoorsy energy. Because Sagittarius loves adventure. Sagittarius loves to travel, do things. I mean, this is like, you know, quadding, um, you know, kayaking, rock climbing, traveling, all kinds of things. So that's what I feel. There's something to do with this energy. It has to do with if you live the same lifestyle, same habits, right? If you fit, you, you want to make sure this person has things in common with you. I feel like it's really important to you, but you're open. So I do see this birth of something new. So this is going to take things to another level with this person. It's just going to take a little bit of time. So this could be something you're going through. So it's telling you to just trust your intuition. If it feels right, I see a connection, getting together, dating, hanging out, whatever it is. I don't really see a whole lot of dating. I feel more like hanging out, doing things, traveling, you know, going places, uh, things speeding up. I see you being really busy. So that's interesting energy. And it could be an energy too where somebody works a lot. They're a little bit busy, maybe busier than you. So there could be something there too. But it could be yourself. I see you focused on money, career, being, you know, uh, very grounded, very focused. But you're looking at this offer, this communication. So nice energy. I do see a little Pisces. There is a little emotional energy here. It's something that's going to blossom and it's going to transform. Right, Scorpio? So I wish you the best on this journey. Prepare for success. Have a good time. Enjoy yourself. I do see this energy of being friends first, connecting on that emotional level. So I do feel this will go to the next level, but when you're comfortable, when you're sure this person's on the same page and everything is copacetic, because <laughs> you're not 100% sure, at some point here it is going to change, though. Yeah, two people hanging out, getting together. It's like you're going to make plans to do things. You're very open. You're kind of just being open. And I like that because it's giving you an opportunity. Instead of rushing into it or rushing to make a decision, uh, you're doing things somewhat different, I feel, than you usually do because of that transformation. Beautiful. All right. Take care, Scorpio. I wish you the best and we'll see you soon.